Yeah, I'm definitely excited in what uh, what this team lies ahead. Uh, we got some great talented talented players that we picked up over off season, and, um, and we added uh, Landry and uh, and myself back. And uh, this definitely should be a great great season for us. Your agent said this is where you always want. Yeah, to I always want. Yeah, that's what I've been telling everybody in the interviews. Always wanted to come back because I knew what we had here was special. We had some guys that was injured last year. That's why we have a great season. But this year, I hope everybody stay healthy and um, we can uh, make it to the playoffs. How close were you? We heard Minnesota and, and the Lakers. How close were you to, to anything else? Uh, I wasn't that close to the Lakers. I, I didn't think they had cap, cap space really for, for um, what I was looking for. Yeah, what I was looking for. And uh, like I always said, uh, I always wanted to come back. So I like the coaching staff. I like the whole organization. I like the fans. And it's definitely a great place for me. So after the season, you know, you have this breakout year. Did you expect it to play out like this? Um, uh, I mean, this is my first time going to free agency, so I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I talked to my brothers about it, and he had everything. He said, "Just wait it out and see what happens." So, did you, uh, did you get frustrated? Or I mean, it was sometimes I was getting frustrated, like what's going on, like uh, a lot of guys getting offers and stuff like that, and then I haven't had one yet. So it just, it was getting frustrated, but I knew my time would come sometime. Do you think it affected the process that you, that kind of everybody assumed the Warriors were going to match mm -hmm. and that you wanted to come back here anyway? I mean, that probably worked against you. Uh, I wouldn't say it worked against me. I think it worked for, it worked for the best for me. I think I'm, I'm in a first position uh, to come in and uh, maybe start because i uh, got some young guys and uh, it's going to should be a competitive training camp and it's to get ready for the season. It's interesting that you said that, mm -hmm. that, now that you brought it up about starting. Yeah. And most people would assume that you're – Gonna back up Clay and and fight for minutes at the three, but you're coming in here. To yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming in and try to uh, try to get that starting starting job at the at the three spot. So uh, that's been working hard this whole entire summer, just uh, to build up on that. So, so you you're willing to give up your chances for six men of the year? Yeah, I'm willing to do that. <laughs> for a starting for a starting job. Yeah, uh, but uh, if anything, I mean, if all comes down to it, I love being a six man too. That war would be. Nice. How much different are you as a starter? Would you say? Would you seem like being a really good group. Uh, I think uh, just being a starter in the NBA just puts a lot of pressure on you uh, because you got to come out and perform every single day, every single game. You're expected to perform every single day at a high level. So, uh, being that you uh, coming off as a six man, you get a little, a little pressure off of you, and you just come in and play your type of game, not be under pressure like you were a starter. When you look at the Warriors signings of, of re-signing of you and, and Carl and getting Jared Jack, um, does that make a, a player like you who's been in the league a little while think that, you know what, we can get it done with this group? Yeah, I think we, uh, I mean, we got one of the top, top, top benches in the, in the league right now with uh, the guys we got right now. And this, uh, this, this building off of that and this coming in, this, uh, this, uh, just trying to just help their team out somehow. Is try to win some win some games, some more games than we did this year. What are you working on basketball wise? <clears throat> uh, my whole goal was a, a lot of pick and roll stuff because uh, uh, at the end of the year, coach said he was going to run run a lot of pick and rolls for because he got a lot of shooters on the on the court. So, is be pre be prepared for all that. And then I've been working on a low post game. Uh, I've been trying to get on that block a little bit and learn some moves. That uh, second year of your deal being your option, mm -hmm. do you feel at all like this is a, another contract year? For yeah, yeah, I'm still going in, and it's like it can be another contract year. Just, just focus and it's, uh, just bring it, just bring all, bring it all.